Hi, Cyberspheres here, back with another Ordinal Marka video, episode 60, and it's been a long time since last episode. I've grinded a ridiculous amount of factor boosts. You can just see how many factor boosts I have versus the factor boosts per second. This is 229 quadrillion on 158 billion per second. That's about probably 16 to 17 days. And, like, this is with the current factor boost per second. If I was using, like, like, for a lot of that, maybe I was only making 150 billion. That could be another day. So, yeah, it's been a while, and this is actually... I've actually not really done a lot here. Mostly so I can just get this. Yeah, you can see just how, well, how... How much I can get there. I mean, that was the reason why I was waiting. It wasn't the reason why I actually went this far. Because, really, what I want to do is Challenge 9 at this point. So, it's nice to have this. I probably... I'm not sure when I want to actually buy my half for the max here. It will give me one singularity level, but I'm just not sure how, when it's worth it. Maybe I'll just do it. Maybe I'll just, oh, enter challenge nine. So um, enter this, um, and then go. Not don't do an omega challenge. I, I have to. Yeah, I have to do this grinding, of course. But it's it's not hard, not at all. And okay. So here we go. So we're trying to get incrementy. It says E202. Actually, even at this rate, it's going to be E200 because it's, remember, everything's E15 times slower. So, yeah, this is actually, it's actually, I can probably see these. Yeah, I'm at 198. I can go to, I, I, I keep forgetting I don't need to buy these manually anymore. So there's that. And then I'm also going to get the one from the Olive Power now. At this point, so I can, I'm just gonna get um, this, and this will give me one more singularity level. And maybe I want to push the 200. I'm at 199 right now. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, it looks like actually it looks like I reached over 200. I'm at 202 now. So it's probably one of these upgrades. Yeah, I got this one, and I mean I could get these. This is E207. Incrementy per second, plus I get one of these. Probably, actually, that's one more singularity level. I'll definitely take that. And remember, this is like quadrupling the production of incrementy. So I'll definitely take that. It's still a little bit less than I thought I might get. But I guess I will just deal with that. So you can see I'm getting I'm getting enough incrementy to get this upgrade. And then, actually, I get both upgrades. So this... I think this gives me another singularity level. Uh, not quite. I'm very, very close. I don't think it's worth it, actually. It's not worth it to wait this long just to get... I mean, this this upgrade is getting more and more powerful, but I'm really not sure. Maybe it is worth it to wait. Like, it's probably going to take... If I do wait... Actually, if I do wait, even at this rate, if this was constant, I could... Do it in under an hour. So maybe, maybe this is actually um, the best strategy. And if this keeps increasing, I could probably do it in like ten to fifteen minutes. So I mean, yeah. And getting this upgrade, the base incrementing multiplier is raised to the one point oh five. I think that's huge, especially how close I am to the singularity level. I actually may reach the singularity level before I reach this upgrade, and that will be another big boost to my incrementing per second because it was like a, sing a single one singularity level was seemed to increase my um the, uh, my incrementing per second by like a factor of two or you know a double my incrementing per second so you can see how close i am even i i need to get 1106 here i'm at 1100 so yeah i, I wish these actually displayed in the, the usual scientific notation but for whatever reason, it doesn't. Pat Kale should fix this, but Pat Kale has abandoned the game, so yeah, that's great. But anyway, we're actually getting close to this one singularity level, and you're just going to see how much it's going to do. This is right now at 4.7 E221. It's going to go up to, okay, not as much as I thought, but still something. That's like me a 30 to 40% incrementing boost. And now at this rate, it would take be 20 to 25 minutes at the current incrementing per second and if I get this I could easily or I could possibly get a bunch of like 
like this is getting really, really powerful because if this is like previously, if this was raised to the 1.05, it was like 10 to the 1.05. It wouldn't do all that much. But now, even without all of these upgrades, it's probably still like 10 to the 15th to the 1.05. And if you just do that, if you if you just do that multiplication in the exponents, you can actually get it, it's like 10 to the it's not 16.5. It's like uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this in my head correctly, but I think 15.75. That's 0.75 additional orders of magnitude of antimatter, which is a four times increase, which means two singularity levels. And I can I can knock out this upgrade at the same time. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait it out. See you in a bit. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes or so, and you can see I'm about to reach the next singularity level. So this is, or next, whatever, I'm not even sure. But anyway, it's two singularity levels. That's really nice to see. I'm now actually going to go out of the challenge. I, I I mean, I could try to grind for this next one. It's kind of within reach, but I'm, I'm not because I've already waited for too long. So what I'm going to do, um, exit, of course, I'm just going to exit the challenge. And now I probably just want to collapse for Cardinals. And um, let's see, I... I think the what was the most efficient. I can actually get a lot more factor boost per second. It's actually not all that much more, but it's something. So yeah, let's just let's just do it. Where is the where's the collapse? Here here is the collapse. This is not the big one. Here's the big one. E forty five cardinals. This is gonna give four E forty three per second, which is enough to get um, E forty eight on each every day. So that's kind of crazy. I'm also just gonna. Put this all here. Hopefully this will help me get more Omega challenges. Because I've heard that you need like a singularity level of 265 for Omega Challenge 6. I'm not I'm not even close. I'm at 205. So I'm not exactly I probably just want to get more. I mean, actually what I'll do real quick is I'll get this up to 200 just so I can get the achievement because that yeah that's an achievement and I guess I can just see how big the ordinal can get but I think I just I really think I just want to do the Omega challenges so I'm not sure which ones I should I think I should just do all of them because yeah I, I'm I'm first gonna do one and two so one two this should easily give me a ton of everything of course, I need to. I need to get these. I'm, I'm always. I'm always gonna forget these, and I didn't need that one. I guess I could just max this. Um, it's at this point. I mean, actually, it, mm, what is what's the all of two effect again? It's tier two automation dynamic factor cap. Uh, dynamic factor cap. Mm, not really. I, honestly, it's probably okay. I'm not the most efficient, but I can do it in a pinch. Um, anyway, auto procedures, this is on, yeah, I'm not getting any incrementing because, well, actually, I'm getting incrementing. Is it enough? To, how many challenge completions even is this? Oh, it's a whole other challenge completion. So, that's really good. Now I'm going to do, how about this? I'm going to challenge three. I think that's what I want to do. And then, okay, yeah, now now I can just, now I can buy them actually efficiently. This just, this just makes it so that, Things are just a little bit better, and I can turn this back off so I can actually um, get as much incrementing as possible. It's about eight orders of magnitude more, so that's enough to get a few more completions. I don't think the reward's gonna do almost nothing though. Like this is, you can see now this just went from four to three. That's basically. Yeah, the reward is extremely weak, but at least I can get some completions in with all of this incrementing. So I feel like now what I want to do, I want to go back out of the challenge. I'll do Omega Challenge 5, or yeah, it's this one where you need to do a little bit of grinding like this. Okay, so now you can see I'm getting a lot of incrementing. I think that's it's actually I'm not exactly sure how many more completions this is, but it's something. So I'm, I'm doing it right. And I honestly, I, I feel like, is this, how low can I go with the singularity? I, I, I know I overshot it a little bit, but 
not exactly sure by how much I ever shot it. Uh, actually, I can see here. Okay, this is this is this is good. It's gonna give the most incremental. Isn't it? I mean, it's something. It's not the most groundbreaking thing, but again, every little bit is going to count here. So, I guess I can exit this Omega Challenge. I'm gonna go into Omega Challenge two. I feel like this is one of the the best ones to do. I do a little bit of. I'm gonna do a little bit of factor boost grinding just to see if it's. Just to help a little bit. Actually, that's not a lot of factor boost. Well, maybe it's because I don't have these. So just get these, and then I can go here. I'm getting much more factor boosts. Really, at this point, I can just I can just go directly for incrementing. So my my best is E112. I could try to grind all the way out to the this upgrade, but I don't think it's gonna help all that much. I think that just helps factor boost per second. So. Let's see how far I can get. I can get all the way to E about 120. So that's about that's another eight orders of magnitude. It's going to boost doubling up to 4.21. It's decent. It's going to definitely just help everything. And there's not not much more I can do in this challenge. I guess I can go one higher of singularity, but not really going to be able to get much more out of this challenge. Now I think I now want to do Omega Challenge 4 after this one. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So exit Omega Challenge 4. Um, let's see, I could try to do factor boost grinding at this point, um, especially after I get these upgrades. And now I can go back into here and um, that, was, that was actually a bad voice crack. Anyway, E140 incrementing. That's, that's actually really good. This is gonna give me a bunch more completions of this. It'll allow me. This is now down to 0.39. So you can just see how much more I can I can do with that. And now I feel like since I have all of this completed, I will be able to go into a Mega Challenge one plus eight and try to grind decrementing. That's what I feel like I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do. So exit this Omega Challenge. Go back to the 1 and 8 combo, and then, well, of course, I need to get the right upgrades. I now have a ton more boosters. It's, um, I feel like I can actually do a lot of stuff now. I can, I can get all of these, and I can get this, and even this, but I don't think that's going to do anything at this point. I mean, actually, it's markup. That could be useful, maybe? I think that's just useful for regular um, challenge eight completions, but this this isn't a regular challenge eight completion, so I'm not gonna get that. Um, I want to go down to singularity level one. Of course, I want to get all these upgrades here. I want deeper many. Don't need challenge eight goals or this, so I will just use that. And um, I think do I need to max all or something? I okay. Do I just I probably just need that. So. Of course, now I need to go into. I think I, I go into base four for this, and then I can get yeah I can just keep, get E one hundred nine ordinal points. It's enough to get. It looks like it's actually quite a bit. Is this is a lot? Um yeah it is a lot. Let's see how many. Let's see. I'm still at two hundred five. Maybe it's not a lot. Um, it's I think more than I had, but. It needs some grinding to really have a strong effect. So I'm not really sure what to do. Because, well, I have... Maybe what I want to do, since this is down to E39, this, the, the cost of, or of the factor shifts, you can see 30, 3956, that's about... That's something like probably 4 E39. So... Um, that may make it possible to do this outside of challenge eight, maybe. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm really wondering if it actually is possible to do that, and I still am not getting a, a, actually no, I, I need to get these manually. I'm like, why can't I get any singularity levels? I have to do these manually. So now I'm up to two thirteen, so that's actually pretty good, but. I could try to grind more. It's probably only going to get me up to like 218 at the most. 
So I don't really feel like this is the, the best strategy. I feel like what I should try to do instead is maybe go into a Mega Challenge 4 again, possibly, to try to grind that further. Or just try to do, just mostly just try to reach Omega to the Omega Squared in Challenge 8 normally, without any booster upgrades. And that's going to be quite a feat. I, I'm not sure if I can reach 4E39. It may be possible, but it just may not. So I'm just going to leave that for next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.